guys and um, thanks for tuning in back in to one of my videos um as from the title of the video i am after a car boot so it is five to six in the morning the car boot opens at half past six to buy us um, but i do have to go to an atm machine to get a bit of money i've got some change but i always like to take just a bit like a note or something even if it's like a tenner just in case because you never know um so i'm in my car i'm ready to go i am a little bit tired don't get me wrong but i am ready to go um as you all know they well the one local to me um opened just a week ago and i did go last week the day opened just to see what it was all about how they was going to um introduce social distancing and all the elements to hygiene and etc etc which i was really impressed they got sanitizers all around right the camp and toilet they had a professional cleaner in um and stuff like that um so in my bag i have all my relevant queens and my got my purse got my phone i always think that's all i really need and i've got my own sanitizer with me as well instant hand cleanser no you just i'll just prefer my own um so i've got that got my bag um i'm ready to go so let's go guys let's go i'm gonna lie guys it is a beautiful day well morning shall i say like six o'clock um lovely morning i'd say it's at least 17 degrees already apparently it's gonna hit 30 degrees today like what I mean that if you live in the UK that is incredible that is ridiculous like we are not gonna go up today I'm not gonna carry on too much now um, I'll see you when we well I'm actually going with my mum to the car boat today um, but yeah I'll see you when I get there hopefully I'll record a few bits um, yeah we'll see you in a minute guys In which we want love caught in your eyes Waiting for the sunrise I barely even knew who you were What did you do? I didn't care Cause you were perfect, I swear But somebody told me that it's over I know it's true You made me happy for a while Top of cars. Now I don't know you. You don't know me too. I remember bleeding times when we watched the sparks of fire. Now I don't know you. You don't know me too. Star shone in our eyes like the lights of fireflies. We were obsessed. Hi guys, I thought I'd just jump in straight here. I've put a little um, Facebook um, ad just there for Cole's Car Boot. Um, they are on Facebook if you want to have a quick look at them. So they are the ones that um, take care of this car boot. Um, and I'm assuming Carl is the one that looks after it. I think he's the main boss and he looks after the page if you want to have a quick look. Um, that's the car boot that I've visited today and they're based in Wolverhampton in the West Midlands. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd jump in um, just have a quick chat um, as I'm coming up to a point now where there is um, a one-way system and that's what they operate in. Um, as you may see here now that... Um, there's only one lane of selling and then you go on to the next aisle um, 
that's just an operation that they are doing so normally there are they are both sides and also you may have seen there that the sellers are actually using masks and gloves um when selling their items um not everyone follows the one-way system which is a little bit annoying but they have been instructed that if they don't follow these guidelines that they will um will need to leave so i thought i might introduce that and state that rather to you um so yeah let's carry on watching I'm just going to butt in again um, with the video, yeah, but here sure are the sa hand sanitizer stations um, that are literally all over the camp. me again this is a food van um like you know you everyday english breakfast bacon bat sausage bat you name it burgers um there was one previously if you just saw um literally what i say a minute ago i'm gonna say um they have no seating i'm guessing that will be from the 4th of july where they'll be able to have seating and um, but at the moment though they don't have any and they have like a controlled social distancing um, waiting line <laughs> you don't think it's been too, uh, too much you don't think it's been too much on them terms do you <laughs> <laughs> round two mum yep. You know what I've noticed? There's not a lot of like food trucks. Like there's just two, and that's it. From one end of the car boot and the other. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the washing line. Cause we've been told the story. I'm just having an air. What was it called? A road tree line. Walking on the grounds we've always known. Stepping on the footprints in the snow. But when it melts, the other ways will show. Yeah. We're gonna make the footsteps on the road. I'm 
crunch on your ice cream. Beautiful. Good <laughs> Yeah. What about? No. What do you think? Are we turning our bell? Oh, ask. No, it's a painted black child that is the hand child of the Thank you very much. Thank you. Is it alright? Yeah. Ask. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys, hope everyone is alright. Let's turn the radio on before anyone says anything. Um, I am a safe driver. Um, so, a bit of an update, so you would have seen some clips of me being at the car boot, um, all well and dandy, um, fabulous, really good day, oh no, maybe not, no, yeah, go, oh, maybe not, um, yeah, attempting to let somebody through but other people don't they're not that very nice are they um so yeah so we've j i've just finished at the car well i didn't just finish i've just popped to my gar my mum's in the garden come on come on and we had a cup of tea and i'll be honest guys um I'm not feeling great. I felt sick right there. It was really hot. Um, there was a lot of cars. There was a lot of people. Like compared to last week when I went, there was double the capacity. There was um, there was just more sale people coming through. And this was like ten o'clock. Um, from my impression, I thought that anyone after half past six, um, they'll try their best, but it's not like guarantee that you're gonna get a pitch because you're just too late. Um, I don't know, obviously, that's not the case, but whatever. Let's just go around this roundabout, do my justice. The world, um, yeah, let's go down this quiet street. So, yeah, um, yeah, so it was very overpowering as soon as we got there because there was just so many people. And bear in mind, it is like 30 degrees today. And by that point in the morning, which was only like 7 o'clock, it was quite warm. I'd say it was at least 18, 19 degrees. Um, come on, guy, what are you doing? Do you want to go that way? Do you want to go this way? Why are you indicating that way? Yep, yeah, you're going there. Is that where you live or do you want to reverse? Yeah, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so it was really, really busy. Um, by the time, well, well, well certainly, like it was only open for like, if my, by the way, if my camera is shaking, it's because there's so many bumps. Um, yeah, so, um, it was just, I don't know what it was, like people wasn't following the one way system, we did, we followed, I was with my mum, um, as you would have seen, and we, you know, stuck to all the rules, um, but I don't know whether it's because it's really hot, I just felt really ill, and then I said to my mum, because we normally go around twice, um, just to like, you know, see what's going on, if we've missed anything. And when I say I only picked up three items, that's how many I picked up. And it, I'll show you in a bit what I picked up. Nothing fascinating. Just a couple of uh, things for the bathroom. And, yeah, so it was it. My mum didn't really pick up a fat lot either. Um, uh, yeah. Just trying to make sure I cover all the points, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, so if anyone... It, I think it's because it's really nice weather it just felt like 
nobody really took notice of like social distancing or it was just really relaxed um, and it just made me feel uncomfortable now yeah last week when i went um i did like express over my instagram that it was fine and it was like i do still trust like i, I think i took some videos of um the hand sanitizing stations um so you can have a look at that um if you saw that in the video i think you should have seen it um so it's still relatively safe it just felt really overpowering and it's probably because we haven't for how many months we haven't been in a position or a stage where we've been overcrowded if that makes any sense um and it, i think for me it was just too much and i can't deal with situations like that the best of the time anyway um so it just for me it was overwhelming i think I had a bit of anxiety it was really warm but as you would have seen as well my mom has these put brain the neck um fans and luckily she's got two i think she bought them off amazon um everyone was like oh my god they are, they are brilliant. and brilliant and we was like yeah um because my mom she doesn't cope very well with like heat and when i say like that like it's like you feel she feels like claustrophobic like she can't breathe <laughs> so she likes a fan like the best of us like a swimming pool a fan you name it we love it um so yeah so this is a red light brilliant um so yeah so luckily when we went round the second time we um i had the fan which was brilliant um it, like you know we went back to the car we just dropped off about the bags that we had and then i was like i need a drink and i thought maybe it was just because i needed a drink i needed maybe something to eat um so i did and you know i did all that relevant precaution for myself um so we went round back again my feet was hurting <laughs> i think i think it was just it just wasn't meant to be for me today if I'm honest, um, that's it, down to the middle of the road, mm -hmm. yeah, it just wasn't meant to be for me today, I mean, I enjoyed it, we had an ice cream, um, just anything to make me feel a little bit better, but we, we like I said previously, we do go around twice, um, just in case, and I, it was literally like a couple of aisles in, and I turned to my mum, I didn't want to upset her, I didn't want to like, to think god look because I, obviously i was moaning quite a bit right there and like, i just turned around to my mom and i was just like mom i'm gonna be completely honest i just want to go home like i just want to leave i did end up going to um like a shop just to get some essentials because we're just running low um yeah and it was just it just wasn't great at all yeah, no worries, mate. You get going. Um, so yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, so I'll, I'll keep probably keep rambling. I'll probably need to um, edit this. Um, but yeah, I, it was just really warm. It was really busy. Um, whether you could tell that off the videos, I'm not sure. But you know, I picked up a few bits, and like I said, I'll show you in a, in a bit um, when I get um, home um, of those bits. But I just wanted to show you really. Um, if you have if you're skeptical of going or you're not sure or even the fact that you just like to look at people going to a car boot so i did my best but i was a little bit nervous i didn't know what, how people would feel me just feel of me just putting a camera on all their stuff i tried my best but it is what it is it was my first time um filming that kind of thing um so yeah um I'll catch you up in a bit. I'm just gonna, because you're probably thinking, why should keep talking? But <laughs> so if you've carried on watching, thanks. Um, yeah, I'll check you up in a bit and I'll show you what I got. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Hi okay, guys, I've just parked up. Um, I am home finally. Um, I'm literally not. I know I keep saying it, and I probably said it quite a few times. 
but I feel sick. I think the heat's got to me. Um, but before I go in, I am going to um, just quickly show you what I've got and then I can end the video. Um, so, look for you guys. Um, right, so the, for the bathroom, two items for the bathroom. Um, I picked up this frame. I'm not sure if you can see it because of my wheel there. But let me see if I can get it closer. So it's that kind of material frame. Um, it's just got a seagull at the front. Um, I might show you a bit closer in a minute. I don't know if you can actually see it properly. Um, but that was a pound and it is honestly really nice in person and it was a pound and I thought that looked really nice in our bathroom because it's like a coastal, it's like white, navy, just like coastal items in there um, and this, this was just really like simple for me so I thought I'd pick that up. Actually it wasn't a pound, it was actually 50p, I'm telling a lie, everything's 50p. Um, yeah that was 50p. And then along with that, um, someone else was selling this. Now, I think B&M sold these items. Let's get it closer. I love that. They were selling this at a pound. And it's just like a hanging ornament. Um, and for a pound, I was like, why not? Because at this point, I, I, I only picked up the frame. Frame, excuse me. Um, and then I'm at, I was, I don't know if anyone watches my Instagram or any other videos, but I am looking for a tall vase for my eucalyptus that I brought from Dunelm. Um, and I was just like, oh. and then this woman was selling a Dar Dartington glassware range. Um, that's what's on the box. Still in the box, it was brand new pretty much um and this is the vase that i picked up nothing fancy um whether it will fit maybe i'll update you on it but that's the vase so there's literally nothing wrong with it and it's still got the sticker on there i'm not sure how much these would retail for and um, i'd have to research probably not that much but again i'm not an expert but it's a really beautiful glass vase and i thought how nice would that be with two stems of eucalyptus in there i thought that was quite nice and that was two pounds um and i love anything glass at the minute so i just picked up that um, and like i said that was fully wrapped which was good and still in the box and um, so i spent three pound fifty <laughs> and well four quid if you want to count the entry price um but that's it really like a lot of it was, wasn't that good um it was just like marketplace stuff like where people have got like shops and they just want to come on a wednesday morning to sell more of the stuff um but there wasn't really any much else i had enough to be honest it was just getting really warm and i'm glad i come away so yeah so that's what i picked up i do apologize if you expected a little bit more than that but it is what it is you don't always find everything that you, or little gems that you that you wish you could pick up um as you can tell i just can't talk i'm definitely gonna end the video now um today is wednesday the 24th of june um and this video will be going up on sunday yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it for whatever it, it is as a video uh i hope you had a lovely weekend i hope you had a lovely week and i hope you have a good week for this week commencing i need a nice cold drink all right um so yeah thanks for tuning in guys i'll catch you in my next video bye